Let's say you run a small business and you'd like to track how many people are clicking on specific links. In this example, we have a schedule appointment link and we'd like to see how many people actually click on this link. So this link takes us to this booking page. Now, let's say you're a freelancer, you're designing websites for your clients and you'd like to report back and say, well, this page or this link has been clicked X amount of times. How would you do that? Well, it's a bit tricky. Let's say you are, you are an affiliate marketer and you'd like to promote a product. In this case, I have a product called Booking Press that I'm promoting. And take a look at how long this URL is. Can you really share this URL on social media or in your emails? Well, it doesn't look very, very exciting because it's a tracking link. So what I've done with this link here is I've managed to shorten it. And when you take a look now at my description for this video that I've just done for booking press, here we go. It's now divuniversity.com forward slash booking press. So this is a much better way of shortening all your links and making sure that you can tell and see how many people are actually clicking on these links. Now, this was made possible using ClickWhale. This is a really, really amazing product. In fact, when I came across this, I installed it right away. And it's been about two days now that I've been using it on my actual website. In fact, let me show you what is happening here. So as you can see here, I already have some statistics here. This is the booking press. There we go. It has been clicked about 36 times already. This one here is Sidecrafter eight times. This one here is a Divi affiliate 18 times. So I'm really excited now that I can track all my links. Now, without wasting a lot of time, let me show you how to actually track and set up ClickWhale. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to a blank website here and the plugin that we need is called ClickWhale. So we're gonna come over here to plugins, click on add plugin, and we're just gonna search for it. So over here, we're gonna search for ClickWhale and here it is. It's a five star and you can see already it has been installed 600 plus times. Well, to install it, it's very easy. Click on install now. Once installed, go ahead and click on activate. Great, so I'm going to uh, skip this for now. And there we go. Just like that, we're able to go in and install it. So I'm using a pro version because it gives me way more features, but this is how you install it. If you purchase the pro version, which by the way, I'll leave a link in the video description below, you'll be able to get even more features that will allow you to really do a lot more. All right, so let's head over to my website now and let me show you what the pro version has. So over here, once you install it, it will come up over here in the left and you can see here it says click well. So let me show you how to create a link. So you'd come over here to links. So let's say you want to track this video itself. I would come over here, copy that, and then I would go back over here to my links and then I'll say add new link. So here we can give, we can give this a title. So I'm going to say uh, YouTube. I mean, I can call this uh, pretty much whatever I want. So YouTube video, and I'm going to call it booking press, right? So this is the title. Now over here, I can name it whatever I want. So I can just call it uh, booking press. So it's going to be BP video, okay? Or BP review. So with that now, I can now set my target URL. So this is how I'll do it. I'll paste my link here. And once I've done that, pretty much that's it. I can go ahead now and click on save. Okay. So now that I've saved this, take a look here. It also has a QR code. And I really like this because sometimes you may want to use your QR code. So if I generate here, now I have my QR code. Now what I can do here is I can either copy this or I can save this as an image and then save it on my computer and I can add it on any page that I want, or I can even have it as a printed item. Okay. So now that I have this, this is the URL I can go ahead and save and share. Now look at it. It's called BP video. Isn't that easy? Rather than use, say, youtube.com, youtube.be forward slash 9k, blah, 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 blah. I'm now using this. So I'm going to copy this, open this in incognito window like that. And I just want to see if I can track this quickly while we're doing this video. So there we go. That's my URL. I'm going to hit enter. And this should take me to the video. And there we go. Anyway, I don't need to watch that. I'm going to close out of that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my statistics, which is right here. So I'm going to click on that. And hopefully I should have one view on that. Take a look at that. See YouTube video booking press. This is the URL. One click. 
Isn't that cool? So this is a really, really powerful tool. Now, not only does it does this, but you can do also other things. So here we can also have tracking codes. So you know how we have, let's say your, your Google tracking codes or your Facebook tracking codes. You can add it over here by pasting it. So this is the Google Tag Manager code. You paste it in here. And just by doing that, you can start tracking it. I mean, this is phenomenal. I mean, I never knew a tool like this existed until just a few days ago. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at other settings that you can do with ClickWell. So with ClickWell, I mean, over here is where you would manage your links. Now, the one thing I like about this is, let's say the link changes. You'd like to perhaps maybe change the link or the destination link. You can actually go in by, for example, this is the YouTube video. I can just click here, click on edit. And I can copy a different URL over here. Maybe it's an updated video. I can go in here, paste it without changing this URL. So everyone that has this link here will continue to have access to it, but the video here will be updated, which is brilliant. So you won't have any broken links anymore, which is fantastic. Now, before this, I was using a tool called Pretty Links. So I was able to import all my links onto ClickWell and I didn't need to do any settings. And I was really happy about that because as you can see here, I have quite a few items here that I already had. And this was easily added onto or imported rather onto my ClickWell account. Over here, we also have keywords. So sometimes you want the word, let's say DV5 to be clickable automatically. You can just set it all up here. And when someone clicks on that, it starts tracking it as well, which is brilliant. All right, so let's go to categories. So let's say you want to set up your categories. So you can set them up as over here. It could be, say, affiliate links. So this is just for organization purposes only. So affiliate links. I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to add it as a slug over here. And I'm going to add it here like that. Add a category. So now that I've added affiliate links, I can add another one here. I can call this maybe landing pages. Let's go ahead and do that landing pages again i'm going to copy that add it as a slug like that and then i'm just going to call this landing pages now i'm being lazy with this but of course you can go in detail and uh, start making it look really really cool all right so now that i have these categories if i were to come over here now to my links i can go in and uh, specify you know which category they can go to so now that i have that you notice now on the bottom here we now have category. So I can now set this to maybe affiliate links, save link. And now I have, you know, all my links in different categories, which is really, really cool. So this is the example or where you would go in and add your auto linker. So if I were to go in and add my keyword here, this will now automatically add my tracking onto this keyword and it will be added right away. Now, this is what I've done with this Sidecrafter Pro here. And I also did this with DV5 to just make it easier for me to actually track these just in case I have a blog post. Okay, so let's move on to the next part. We have our link pages here. So if you want, you can add all your link pages in here. So you add your page title, your description, and here would be your slug. And you can actually add your logo. And if you want, you know, you can just add your menu here, create your uh, legals menu. So this now will show up in your menu on your website. Over here, you have your contents. So you have your ClickWell link. Here it is. So you can add all these features onto, uh, onto your page and this will all be tracked. Over here, you have your style. So as you can see here, you can go in and uh, pretty much, you know, change all your links. So these links here can be links maybe to your, let's say, social media platforms. And ideally, perhaps you want to track them. So this is where you would add your first demo link. And this is what it looks like. So back over here on the contents, you know, you can go in here on your custom link and pretty much set all these up. So again, you have more items here to track. You have your social profiles, as I've just mentioned. You also have your blog post feeds that you can also track. So there's quite a lot here that you can do, which is very exciting. So notice now when I drag and drop, I can go in and give this an item. So you can see here, this is, uh, let's say, DV5. 
boom. So now I have DV5 like that. I can add a subtitle if I want to. And pretty much I am happy with that. If I want, I can upload an image, but pretty much this is okay. So with that all set now, I can go ahead and save this. And now I have my link. In fact, this needs a slug and it also needs a description here. So I would add a link description here if I, if I wanted to. So all these links here will all be tracked as well, which is fantastic. And if I want to have logos here, I can specify whether it's a square logo, a circle or rounded. Okay, let's move on to the tracking code. I think I've already covered this. If you click here on add new, this is where you would add your tracking code. And then over here is your statistics. So this is where you would see how all your links are performing. And I really like this feature, as I mentioned earlier on, because it tells you how your links are performing. So let's say you create a video and you'd like to see if your video is performing and how many people are clicking on it. This will be an indicator. So over here as well, if you click here, it will now break this down. So you can see on this graph here, it's now showing me the other statistics here, a statistic here, which is fantastic. Okay, so again, if I do that, you can see how they're all performing against each other. I have this one here, 18 and 1. Okay, that one is too low. But this will just give an idea of how, you know, how these are looking. And if you just undo that, pretty much you'll have just one graph, which is showing you pretty much everything. Okay, now if you want to go in here and edit the link. This will open up in a new tab. You can go ahead and quickly edit it over here, which is brilliant. Okay, so moving on, we have our settings. Now this settings page is very important as well because this is where you get to go to each of these categories here. So for example, access level, since I'm the administrator, this has been set as the administrator, but I can you know change who has access to this if I wanted to. Okay, of course, they have the affiliate link. I mean, I would definitely sign up for this because I would like to promote this as much as I can because I really, really like this. All right, so over here we have our link manager. So you can see the redirection type. You can go ahead and set it over here if you want to. Here we have the keyword auto linker. And again, you can disable it here if you want to, but I'm gonna leave it open. And you can specify where it, it works. So here in this case, it works on the post page and project. Okay, now ideally I'd like to have it to affiliate and project as well, and then save. Okay, so here we have our link pages and we also have our tracking codes. So you can hide plug in HTML if you want to as well. But as you can see, this tool here is very, very, very easy to use. Now over here, I don't have any data to migrate, but it also has a migration tool if you want to export some data to perhaps maybe a different website. So this is, you know, how you export it and it, this will generate a CSV file. So let's go ahead and do that and take a look and see what this will look like. Okay, so when I press tab, you can see here it has all my data and all these are my links. So rank math, we have elegant themes, we have DVAI and so on. And it's also telling me what kind of redirection it is over here. Okay, so this is the data that you can import on a totally different website if you wanted to. And finally, we have the affiliation here. If you want to become an affiliate, you can see here they have a generated a generous 30% commission on every customer, which is fantastic. So as you can see, this is a very, very powerful tool. I really like the fact that I can just turn any link into a custom link, which I can track. So your social media links, all your affiliate links, specific buttons on your page, specific links on your page. If you want to see how they're performing, well, ClickWell is the tool for you. So if you're a freelance designer and you'd like to show your clients that, look, this is how things are performing on their website, well, this is fantastic. I know there's another way of doing it and you could use, let's say, Google Analytics, but this is a nice, easy way of actually doing this with ClickWell. Anyway, let me know what you think. What do you use for your tracking? Let me know in the comments box below. I highly, highly recommend this. As you can see, I'm actually using it on my own website. That means I really endorse it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again in the next one. Take care.